this exercise, we're going to take a look at a way of improving our network performance uh, and also not stressing the network too much. So it turns out that in the application now, as you type into a search term, you can actually overdrive the network uh, as the responses queue up. And that means that you've got multiple responses in flight, which is not performant. It's really a bad idea. If you notice there, we've got a lot going on uh, around that 1300 millisecond, 13,000 millisecond mark. And that just means that we're taxing our server. And this is because what we're doing is we are dealing with too many in-flight requests at the same time. So what we want to do is uh, get rid of that uh, extra overload. And we're going to do uh, some techniques here that involve turning this separate set of individual one-shot calls into a kind of a set of streams of both the get all tchotchkes by search term kind of call and the get every tchotchke call, get all tchotchkes, and making it so that we watch the value changes of the filter input. And as the filter input changes, we are then going to be able to split between uh, content coming from one observable or the other. And notice right now we have, you know, kind of these two local methods too. We're going to be able to get rid of those as well because we can just directly call the tchotchke service get all tchotchkes for either of the inverted cases. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace the initial subscription up top here. So we still need, we still need that. Uh, we still need a chocolate service re refresh needed pipe, and that's because when we reset, we're going to kind of automatically detect that we've got an empty search term condition. But we're going to kill that initial uh, value changes uh, observable and, and replace that with a set of different observable functions. So let's take a look at that. So what we have now is we've got one observable stream that we're creating for the case of when we don't have any text in our input box. We've detected that the input box value changes uh, have told us that there's a non-truthy value, a null, basically, or an empty string. And we're going to make sure that we kind of give ourselves half a second to kind of reset the network there uh, on the browser so we're not going to tax it heavily. Um, and then we're going to switch to making a call directly to the tchotchke service, get all tchotchkes. So we eliminated that method. Next, we're going to take our next observable, which is the inversion of the no text uh, filter input. And we're going to have a filter that basically is just a simple not false filter uh, and create an observable around that one. Um, now, notice I've kind of stepped over the word switch map here, and I'm going to explain that in a second. But if you kind of look at both of these things, what we're doing is we are taking a condition of the search box. We are taking one or the other, which is the universe of all the options, and we're basically calling a method on the service to produce an observable one-shot value um, out of this stream of text changes. And now notice we have our get charge per search term directly on the service, and we can whack the other version of that. Now let's talk a bit about switch map. Switch map takes what would be a stream of value changes in this case in both of these inputs and replaces it with a one-shot observable call as a stream to the tchotchke service methods of get all tchotchkes or get tchotchkes by search term. And so the deal there is that now we have a stream that is produced with any change to the value changes of the filter input, 
but that outputs one-shot answers from either service as things change. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're, we're, you know, we still are keeping that refresh needed pipe uh, and that way that's resetting my input so that it goes to the empty search. But we need to take both empty search and value search and put them together. And so there's actually a observable producing um, thing here, and it's called merge. And we're going to use the merge method to merge the two streams together into a new observable that we can then subscribe to. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So keep in mind, we're used to RxJS operators in RxJS 5, such as debounce and filter and switch map and tap. But now this merge import is a new thing entirely. And it turns out that the merge import is a observable producer that produces observables from other observable streams. And that's why it's an import from RxJS and not from operators. So it's kind of a peer of of and from and interval and things like that that produce new observables. We simply subscribe to that observable and now we have two things happening based on this merge stream. Either we're going to call get all tchotchkes when we get a falsy production of data in the filter input, meaning empty, or we get a truthy input and we actually search for the pattern. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application now. And one of the really interesting things about switch map is it also will cancel in-flight observables. So check this out. As I'm searching, notice it cancels the other observables that are in flight. Now there's a slight issue here in that if I somehow have an empty filter and I create a new charge key, both of those conditions will set um, the empty input to null, so you can actually end up having uh, two of the in-flight operations, or at least not canceling one. Um, so, you know, there's better things we could do there, I suppose, but this will do just fine. Um, and so now everything is canceled the right way, uh, and, you know, if we produce a new input, uh, it'll automatically fix our form, and we're good to go. I hope you find these useful, and if you're looking for on-site training, advice, mentoring, or technical help with any area of your full stack development efforts, head over to chariotsolutions.com to check out our services. Thank you.